What's up guys, SP Architects here today. I want to show you how to create a crazy bench design in ARCHICAD. This is going to be a very interesting video. With this tutorial, your perspective to ARCHICAD will change. Because when it comes to creating something new in ARCHICAD, generally we go to these classical tools and use them as it is. For instance, if you want to create a wall, you will just click the wall tool. And if you want to create a column, you, of course you will click a column tool. As I mentioned in this title of this tutorial, if you are going to place a furniture, a crazy furniture like this, you can just think you will go to the object tool, but that's not true. So let's come and see together how we are going to achieve this in ARCHICAD. By the way, if you are serious about learning ARCHICAD, you can go to my Patreon page. With that page, you will learn some advanced ARCHICAD tutorials and also you can reach all of my project files in YouTube channel. Alright, without any further ado, let's start the tutorial. Alright, here we are in ARCHICAD and at the very first I have changed my unit system from the options, project preferences and from working units I have changed the unit system from millimeter to centimeter because I like working with centimeter. Now after that, we need a section for creating a chair, a furniture system like this. So let's create that. I will click line tool from the left of the window. I'm going to shrink this design and go to document and click line. And now first I will make my borders. First I'm going to draw the seating part. This part is going to be 50 centimeters and 45 centimeters and same. And we will create a back for the chair. It's going to be something like this, maybe 65. And we need a thickness for this. It's going to be 20 centimeters or 15 centimeters. And we will close the shape. You can trim your lines with control key from your keyboard. If you hit control, you can cut your lines like this. And once we have done this, we are going to use the spline tool. Let's go to spline and let's start from the bottom, maybe from here. And I will create a spline for all of the borders. Maybe to here. It's not important that I click because we can fix it later. Just like this. Now to fix it, we click this spline and we will see these editing points. For instance, if you click somewhere here, you can add point with this icon. And after that, you can move that node like this. And I will create different points because I want to gain more control. to get a morphed and a morphed shape. Maybe we can move this point something like this. And we can get a pear shape. Let's create another point here. And once we have done this, we will turn this geometry method to this desire and this will give us more control. With this desire, you don't have to place so much point as this one. In the end, we will get something like this. To see it better, we will change its color. Maybe one. And after that, we can get rid of the, this borderline. There we go. This is our section. And we are going to fill inside with the slab tool. It's very easy. We will go to design and click slab. For the structure, we will go to simple 
and we can select a structure type from here it's concrete right now it's not important maybe we can use a timber because this is going to be a furniture so it's going to be clever using the timber structure now it's going to be maybe timber floor and hit the space and place inside the space fill inside the space tool and test it now if we go to window 3d window we will see something like this it's very thick so let's make it smaller 10 centimeters maybe and i want it to start from the zero point therefore i'm going to change the reference location to bottom maybe it's going to be eight or seven we can fix it later it doesn't matter now this is going to be our module and after that we will go to floor plan and use this south elevation right click open with current view settings now we will draw our elevation of our furniture to do it as we did before we will create our border first now we are going to use our total height it's 100 from here to here it's one meters therefore i'm going to create a border around one meter and this is going to be our land or our furniture it's up to you once we achieve this we are going to use the spline tool again and this part is going to be our elevation of the furniture maybe something like this or you can make more spline more wavy there we go now if we go to floor plan we can select this slab and go to file go to save selection from the libraries and objects as curtain wall panel maybe the name is curtain wall panel one let's leave it as is and now we are ready to create our curtain wall tool first we will select this basic one single and others will be as is and i'm just going to use the south elevation because we created our elevation front view from the south elevation therefore it's going to be from left to right now we can select our curtain wall and from the main scheme we will just get rid of the system and we will create ours for the first stage i'm going to change the a so that means columns we will select this best division and i want this to be placed every 15 centimeters and for this deleted panel this is not going to be a deleted panel it's going to be a main panel if we go to main panel and under the main panel we can change this main panel type and geometry let's click that and use custom panel as you can see it was automatically selected our curtain wall panel one and we have some other settings here panel offset panel thickness top direction now i'm not going to change them because i want to see the solution first i want to see the and final look looking first therefore i'm going to use them as is panel thickness and panel offset let's click ok and see what we have by the way we have borders let's select that border we will go to frame click boundary and click invisible make this zero hit f3 and look at what we have as you can see our direction is wrong let's rotate this 
panel direction 90 it's not working bad so we need to fix it from here if we rotate this slab from this side to right maybe this will work i think so to do it i will just right click convert selection to morph click ok and hit ctrl plus e and rotate as we desired now in the floor plan i'm going to save this as curtain wall panel for the first name replace it will automatically changed now i think it works well but we need to change some parameters this panel thickness is not correct this input here 45 here we are talking we need to fix the total height so to do it we will go to south elevation as you can see it's too much click edit and right click this scheme grid we will click this border and offset to our line just like this For this part we will make this manually but it's not too hard first we add our points and we bend them well if you don't want to do this manually i have another options let's hit delete we will go to curtain wall and this time instead of using a single we will use this boundary hit the space and click and we will make the same settings disable all of them and let's select the main panel change it from here disable borders invisible make this zero all right this step is very important now we are going to adjust some parameters we will go to skin once again and we are going to create hole to do it we will click this plus and this is going to be empty panel but this is going to be our main panel but they are united we need to divide them to do it we will click this middle line and this line will be division but it's still one part because they are connected from the end to the beginning to fix it we will click the end line and we will place another division now we can select them separately this part B will be deleted panel and this part our main panel but we want our main panel thickness maybe 5 cm but opening will be 4 cm let's click ok and look at what we have now we need to adjust more this is number of division let's change it to fixed size now we are talking but the thickness is not wide enough we will use our thickness from the panel thickness it was around 45 or 60 centimeters with the back just like this we can change the parameters of course 
maybe from the scheme we can reduce the width for the space and we can decrease the width of the panels now it's more dense let's go to 3d window settings right click from here 3d styles and click simple shading with shadows or detail shading also 3d styles show contour off and shadows it's way more better we can hide this and in the final we will get this And this was how you can create a crazy bench style, a crazy bench furniture in ArchiCAD. I hope you have enjoyed this one. If so, please hit the like button. Do not forget to subscribe. If you have any questions and suggestions, please leave it in the comment section below. If you want to see more tutorials like this, you can hit the ring the bell button. And if you are serious about learning ArchiCAD, you can go to my Patreon page. From there, I will be waiting for you. Alright, thank you for watching, until next time, have a nice day, bye.